Hi, my name is Justin Latimer, and I'm going to show you a Medieval 2 Total War Battle Replay. I'm going to read you the name of this one just because it's funny. Timmy Spam! So I will be leading the Mongols against the fearsome and almighty Timurids with their elephants who can never be defeated. So here we are, playing as the Mongols. My opponent wanted unlimited money. I have given myself a ton of upgrades. Just look at all these upgrade flags. My opponent was very irritated that I took so long to get ready, too. But if you have unlimited money, you can build your dream army. You can give it all the upgrades you want. You can put all the attack and defense upgrades on them. You can give them all these experience banners. If you don't, you're just being lazy. As I'm going to be fighting against the Timurids, and I know my opponent is bringing nothing but elephants, I'm going to give them the absolute best upgrades I can. So I brought four dismounted heavy lancers. These guys have full upgrades on them, full defense, full attack, plenty of experience. They're amazing. My rocket launchers are within range of the enemy. And I was right, my elephant, my opponent has brought nothing but elephants. I'm going to make him regret that. Our men are under attack. We need to act. I've lost some of my rocket launchers, but some of them are still firing. I'm actually going to march my army out to outflank our opponent. My opponent. Look at all the dust. I've had bad luck with the phone today. People keep calling when I make these. So I have so many troops. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of moving them. You can't really hit a ton of them. I have my mounted horse archers on the side here. Mongol heavy archers. A number of the enemy elephants are already running amok, which is wonderful for me. We are winning this battle. My bombard is using flaming ammunition. Archers are in loose formation to avoid getting too many casualties. Against anybody but the Timurids, this would just be cruel and unusual. But keeping in mind that I am fighting the Timurids, this is just what you need to do to win. We have bled the enemy badly. They have only half their men left. Half their men. I have a lot more than half of my army left. Actually, if we look at the percentages. 
34% allies killed, 60% enemies killed. Even the wind is sweeter now, that dog is slain. Oh, and look at that. The enemy general's dead. My men are gonna give a little cheer. I've got some brave horse archers, you know? I took a lot of casualties trying to outflank the enemy with my horse archers. But the battle's wound down quite a bit. I'm not sure when it happens, but my opponent actually left the battle. He was not willing to fight to the end. And he left the AI to fight for him. I'm gonna finish the battle though. Because it's a good battle for me. Our men are under attack. We need to act. using regular ammunition now because I just want to kill. Spears can defeat elephants under ideal conditions. What will usually happen is you'll probably lose quite a few of them. But they are one of the units that can take down elephants. Battle seems to go well for us. From such hopeful seeds does the mighty oak of victory come forth. Yes, victory will come forth. This is where the battle turns into kind of like a um, safari. So what we have here is we have a case of what happens if you actually do nothing but spam one specific unit. And it's not pretty. What happens if you spam one unit, especially if it's these elephants, is we get a elephant graveyard in the Spanish plain. A timurid elephant spam is really not all that threatening. If you know how to fight it. With the amount of money we had, our, my opponent could have brought some elephants, he could have brought some cavalry, he could have brought some rocket launchers of his own, he could have brought some dismounted heavy lancers, he could have brought some Sabadar militia, he could have brought heavy horse archers, the exact same ones I have. But he didn't do all those things because he was being a cheap noob. If you watch my channel a lot, you'll, I don't, I don't say nasty things about people a lot. But this opponent, I played him before. He spammed 
the Aztecs against my Holy Roman Empire. He was relying purely on numbers. The only games I've played against him, he was employing some sort of cheap trick. I'm actually going to send my spearmen in to kill some elephants now. As you can see, it's not exactly effective. A lot of these guys that they knock over will get right back up though. Had my opponent did what I was saying though and brought a mixed army of Timurid units, that would have been really powerful. But instead what he's what he did was just cheap. Individually, they're not an easy unit to fight. But as this is all he brought, there was no tactical flexibility. The AI here is shooting at my horse archers. It's not paying attention at all to tons of archers that are behind it. Shooting into its back. My brave, brave horse archers. These guys deserve a ton of credit. There are four units here, and they look like maybe one and a half units. They've just lost so many men. The god of our foes has fled. So great has been our victory. And you heard it from the announcer. We had a great victory here. Heroic victory. You don't see a lot of those online. I deployed 841 troops, my opponent deployed 248. I lost 280 men, my opponent lost 215. I have 561 men remaining, and my opponent has 33. I killed 48, and he killed 306. So although he did kill more, he had also brought less, and he had invested solely in his super troop, which was the elephants. And that did not go well for him. Let this be a lesson to all who spam. Take a look at the statistics here. Mongol heavy archers, my horse archers, three, six, and five. Not a ton, but we're not done looking at all these yet. Looks like they did pretty good overall. Mongol infantry, two, two, eight, and three. So they didn't get a ton either, but once again, they're one of the few units that did get some kills. They had dismounted heavy lancers, only served to protect my archers. The rocket launcher took down two, the other rocket launcher took down two, and the bombards took down four and twelve. So the bombards did pretty well. A bombard is a much cheaper unit than an elephant too, especially these artillery elephants that he had brought. So my army was a lot smarter. A lot more cost effective. Also, if this was a uh, campaign or anything like that, I'd have done a lot better because I have 561 men left. My opponent has 33. That's almost nothing. I'd actually have an old, I'd actually have a pretty sizable army left. You can actually see that I have quite a bit sizable army. My horse archer is taking quite a few casualties, but. Overall, most units come out, came out okay. Thank you for watching. I'll have more videos for you soon.